How's it going? My name is Trip. I'm with my first ever tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to attempt to teach you guys how to make a melting displace um, with pretty much stock fusion. To my knowledge, everything is in free version of fusion. Uh, you won't need plugins or anything. Um, but anyhow, so I'm going to have things pop up behind our character here. And it's kind of going to be like a melting uh, sun or moon type scenario, just a melting uh, circle. So let's go ahead. You want these in compound clips. You can't really do this over adjustment clips. But let's go ahead and open our thing in Fusion and start off by applying a little ellipse. So I'm going to make them smaller just to show you the effect a little bit better. So once we have our ellipse now, since this is our first one, we want to put a transform over it. And let me let me bring these closer. So I want to put a transform over this and I want to have it rising. So I'll go ahead and make this minus one keyframe and go to our end and reset it to one. There we go and ease that in like so. I'm going to make it really sharp. Put the motion blur up. That's fine. And now we can do our displace. So go ahead, grab your displace and grab your fast noise. Now, if you have the ability to make random colored fast noise, that's great. That's what you want. Um, to my knowledge, we don't really got that infusion. So you got to go ahead to color, change it to gradient. And this is what I found that kind of does the job. Do three more bits and make them a color so red green and lastly blue and there's your sort of random uh, noise now if you up the contrast you can introduce some black and white bits of the detail as well I'm gonna max out the detail and I'm gonna put the brightness up a little teeny bit maybe put the scale up a good bit as well and there we go so now we want to animate our noise so we want to move it down on the center position just like that you can keep it linear you don't need motion blur or anything again this is our map for our displacement so once you have that done go ahead and rig it up to your displacement and you'll notice already it kind of looks like it is kind of melting down down a little but it doesn't really sell the effect so we're gonna go ahead and change our displacement type to X and Y and we can ignore X. Go ahead and change the Y channel to Luma and now change the Y refraction to, I like to go about 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. So I'm going to do 0 0.4. You can see that's a very intense thing. So I'm going to do the spread here. Now that we have the spread, I like it looking a bit blobby. You don't have to do no spread. You can keep it like this. You can keep it maxed out, but I like it a little bit almost liquidy looking. So now it's, it's, it's definitely melting down, but we don't want to do the entire circle, right? We just want like half of it. So what we're going to do is grab a background node. And in this background node, we're going to change that to gradient as well. And you're going to flip the gradient so that the top is so that the darkest bit is at the center or right, sorry, the darkest bit is at the top, so black to white. And now you can go ahead and rig that up to your fast noise. And over the merge, what you want to do is you want to change the apply to multiply. And then your black is shown. So how do we change the area of effect? Well, with black, as you can see, it doesn't actually affect anything in our displacement. Only when we introduce the colors does it start displacing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate our offset here to go from one to about, you know, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to do it here to about uh, here works. I'm going to go ahead and keyframe that to the end. And now we want to ease this one in a little bit. Where is it? Background one offset. So I'm going to do 
a pretty swift entrance here. There we go. That looks pretty good, but we can we can do more with it. So we want to get another displace node, and now we're gonna do the the x values. Now, if you only do a one, it'll only get displaced to one side. So what we want is we want two of these, and the first one you want to do the same x y, and you want to change the x channel now to luma. And we'll do the first one at, we'll do the first X refraction at about 0 0.1, minus 0 0.1. And then the second one, same thing, change it to Luma, and do the same thing about 0 0.1. So this one is minus and this one is positive. Now, if we just rig up our noise like this, as you can see, it displaces the whole thing. So we're going to do the same thing that we did a second earlier. We're going to grab our noise, put it into a merge, and grab a background. And with this background, we're going to do the same thing, gradient, except this time, we're going to put the black in the center and have the two sides be completely white. Now, I'm going to make it something like this. Whoops, wrong color. I'm going to make the center a little bit darker such that only the edges of my circle are going to get affected. Go ahead, plug that in, and now you can plug your merge into the two displaces. Now, we, you can use multiply again. Multiply will work, but what I like to do, I just like to use, where is it? Darken, because it makes these edges a lot brighter and therefore makes the displacement a little bit more intense. So go ahead and change the spread to about 1.5 again, whatever it is that you want. And now you can kind of mess around with your background. So move this in, you'll see it affects more of our circle. Move it in here, it affects more of our circle. So I'm gonna leave it at about something like this. I want it to be very subtle. I don't want it to be very intense. There you go. As you can see, it just goes down on the sides. And that's us done with the first circle. So what I like to add is a little bit of a soft glow onto these when I'm done. And you want to put the glow size up pretty high. You want to put the, the threshold up a little bit and the gain up a little bit too. And it kind of creates this little drop shadow effect. So that's us done with this. So now what we can do is we can copy everything but the transform and our little lens blur here. And we can go ahead and go to the next one and paste it. Oops, I never copied it. So go ahead, select your little bits, control C them. You can save it too if you plan to reuse it, but I kind of just make these from scratch every time. So go ahead and connect them up. And you see it's way too bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the threshold a lot more here. Maybe change the gain down a little bit. Something like that works. And of course, don't forget, you need to add your ellipse. Change the size so that it's the same. And now we're going to get rid of our little background offset animation here because we don't need that anymore. We just wanted to keep the same melt. And what else we can do is change this offset so that it carries on from the next one. So we know we went about 0.5, so we're gonna go another 0.5. And there we go. That's that done. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this again. Put it over here. Boom, boom, boom. Connect the dots. Get our ellipse. 
make that about 0.4 same same done done i'm gonna up the glow here on this one a little bit put the threshold down there i like that go ahead go to your fast noise again make it carry on to about minus one there and we're done so I'm gonna let this pre-render and we'll see what we got. So yeah, I think that's a pretty cool effect and I'm pretty sure uh, some of you guys will be able to put it to much better use than I will. I'm not very creative when it comes to using these, but it's an effect that I'm very interested in and I haven't seen anybody else do a kind of melting displace and I know that it can be used for that. so. I went ahead and made it myself. So good luck. Hopefully you learned something. And uh, this was my first ever tutorial, so I'm not really sure what I was doing. But if you have any requests that you'd like to see me do, go ahead and comment down below. Yeah, that's about it. Peace.